Before leaving this world, Jesus presented a vivid illustration to the 12 apostles that sums up his teaching in a way that we can all easily understand. We only need to step outside and observe the plants growing in our yard or visit a local garden to experience this important final teaching of Jesus. As followers of Jesus, we are part of a growing family that is in the constant care of God the Father who tends the soil and does the pruning. Jesus is the vine on which we the branches are growing. Together, we produce the fruit of love. I am the true vine and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit. The love that grows out of our connection to Jesus is the crop that will encourage more to seek and know God. As a result, those who are not producing love are useless and will be discarded, and those who are producing will be encouraged and nurtured so that they will produce even more. God the Father is constantly tending to the garden so that it will flourish. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. Our relationship with Jesus is our connection to God's love. Without Jesus, we are disconnected from God. When we follow the commandments of Jesus, we remain attached to the vine that connects us to the awesome power of God. This is my commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. All the teachings of Jesus are bundled together in this one command. If we operate from a position of love in all that we do, it is impossible for us to do anything wrong. That may sound like a simple process. However, we have an enemy who is constantly trying to disrupt our efforts. The battle between good and evil will not end until Jesus returns. Each day brings new challenges and reveals new evil schemes that we'll need to overcome. Thankfully, as followers of Jesus, we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to fight the good fight. If we remain connected to the vine, we will bear the fruit of God's love every day. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. Our dedication to the teachings of Jesus is the vehicle that transports our relationship with him to a level of intimacy that is truly special. There is no better friend than Jesus. We have been provided with the Bible so that we can come to know Jesus in this personal way. This relationship is available to all those who are willing to listen and to follow his teachings.